and I said what I said. <laughs> And welcome back to my channel my name is vicky and i love all things fragrance body care beauty and i love a good haul so if that sounds like something you're interested in hit that subscribe button and stay tuned so i am back with the tropical series finally like three months later right okay so if you're interested in my catch-all for the tropical series then just keep on watching so i wanted to kind of do this by like scent type you know like watermelon papaya other but i feel like that's gonna be a little too hard for me because there's so many items i have here so i'm gonna start with scrubs and the first scrub i have here is sunset sorbet so to me this scent is a tropical vibe and it actually reminds me of tropic glow from tree hut like, I don't think this smells strong enough to be like the bum bum cream, but this smells similar to Tropic Glow from Tree Hut in my opinion. So I highly recommend um, Sunset Sorbet if you are interested in having um, something that's along the lines of a tropical vibe. So since I brought it up, I'm gonna go with Tropic Glow next from Tree Hut for the scrub. This. I don't, look, I ain't gonna hold y'all, but this scrub is cool, but it ain't all that. <laughs> and I said what I said. So the next scrub is gonna be the watermelon scrub from Tree Hut. And to me, um, those beads there, they get stuck on the floor in the shower for me there because the floor of my shower is tile. So everything gets trapped in grout. So it takes like some extra... Um, washing out to get this stuff out of the shower but i actually really do enjoy the watermelon the scent of it next here i have papaya paradise another great tropical vibe if you enjoy papaya scents i think this one is just more of a fruity scent yeah this one is juicy and fruity it smells like a drink actually next here this is from urban hydration which you can find at target this is the peach and papaya sugar scrub. Now I will say this doesn't have, this doesn't have like a huge scent throw in my opinion, this and the oil, which I forgot to bring that. But the scent throw in here isn't the best, but it's cool. I actually do like how like my skin feels after using this. Next, I bought this after the mango because the mango video has been out for a while, but this is the mango scrub from Pink. This actually smells like fresh, juicy mango, and I absolutely enjoy that. But if it seems like I'm moving around, because I am, because there's so much stuff as I'm like calling it out, I need to get it moved. Um, but the la I think this is the last scrub I have up here, and this is the sand and sea salt scrub and the Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. I hate, 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 hate this sand and sea salt scrub. This is a nightmare renting it not only off my skin but out of the shower i i don't i actually don't think i've used this since i got it and i got this at last summer sass when i had picked up this in the waikiki beach coconut after using that waikiki beach coconut it was such a nightmare next i have this soap whip in the island nectar scent from buff city soap and i think i've used this once maybe twice it almost smells like laundry detergent so and whipped soaps are kind of like unfamiliar to me because i'm kind of confused when i'm using it because they're so thick so i don't know like they're cool i don't know if i will continue purchasing whipped soaps in general next i have a few shower gels i feel like i mentioned this in the pineapple one but i'm mentioning it again just because this is when i think of tropical scents and i smell this even though I got beef with Goose Creek, I can't deny this scent. This is Dragon Fruit Splash. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I feel like I have mentioned this before. But this is definitely a great juicy tropical scent. Next, this one is new to my collection. I haven't used it yet. But this is Poolside Coconut Colada. 
so this video is really going to be a catch-off for anything i might have forgotten um this is iced coconut juicy pineapple jasmine petals vanilla cream and sparkling sugar and this definitely smells juicy and more like pineapple so next i have some moisturizing body washes and the first one um when i smell this scent it kind of makes me think of being like on a getaway even though it's not like fruity but this is the um brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower gel from sol de janeiro this bum bum cream bum bum scent uh number 62 this to me can it's versatile so i feel like if you want it to be a tropical scent it can be that's why it's in this video but if you want it to be something else depending on how you play it up you can do that as well so i have a couple more moisturizing body washes first one here is summer melody and i was on the fence about whether or not i felt like summer melody was a tropical situation but i think this is more so like if you're on a vacation and just chilling out i feel like you could definitely go with summer melody so i was back and forth but i feel like i feel like I, we can we can write with this one and then the next one here is bahamas passion fruit and banana flower i really do enjoy this scent even though i haven't worn it in mad long i think it's a nice juicy tropical scent so that is a love for me i feel like i picked up these body washes after um the pineapple video so i do have one for pink pineapple sunrise but we've already done pineapple scents so next for some body care just to get these out the way since i've mentioned them already i've got the so de janeiro bum bum cream scent as well as the brazilian crush fragrance mist now this is part of project use it up so as you can see i'm doing a great job of using this one up i can't say the same for the body cream but whatever next we'll go back to tree hut i've got the watermelon um whipped shea butter this smells like candy so i feel like if you're out on vacation you want to smell like a snack or like a treat you could definitely pull that up and i have the tropic glow firming whipped um shea butter I feel like this smells much better in the whipped butter and the shave oil as opposed to the scrub i don't know what it is about that scrub but like i said it ain't all right probably should have mentioned these when i was talking about sol de janeiro but the first one here did i mention this already i don't think i did but this is gonna be the sol de janeiro anita fragrance mist this has a passion fruit note in it i believe it's got passion fruit nectar and coconut water did i mention this in coconut did I mention this in the coconut video? I might have. But this is definitely a bomb tropical scent if you've ever smelled one. I feel like of the outside of the core line for Sol de Janeiro, those like limited edition ones, I feel like this has been my favorite yet. This next one would very um well belong in a coconut video, but I picked this up after that. And that is Tan Lines from Sol de Janeiro. This is a tuberose coconut um situation i layered this with um my at the beach body care chef's kiss so i actually really do enjoy this one next i have a couple of lotions from victoria's secret i'm sure i have i have fragrance mist to both of these i think maybe not i don't know but um the first one is pure seduction radiant you know what i think this was in the pineapple video because that has a pineapple note so um there's that but there is velvet petals radiant and this one has bright watermelon and kiwi burst this definitely smells like candy as well so highly i think the entire radiant line was good actually i don't think i've ever smelled bare vanilla radiant but everything else i've smelled in the radiant line i absolutely love next i have a couple of items from pink and the first one is sunset sorbet so i do have a full set to this that's ice papaya and glitter waves what glitter waves smell like i don't know but um this is a nice warm beachy scent that i really enjoy and like I said, I think this smells kind of close to this. Like these two 
when I sprayed this, it gave me a vibe of Tropic Glow. Next here, I have Passion Punch. And I picked this because it has the passion fruit and acai berry note. So to me, this is just a nice fruity situation. It smells like a drink. I do not have a lotion to this. But it still smells really good. And I feel like if you have a fruity scented lotion, like um, the um, raspberry pomegranate from EOS um, or something that has like passion fruit, you could, or like a nice light citrus, you could add that to. And next one, I have the set to this and this is Kiwi Chill and that's lime squeeze and iced kiwi. I feel like this you could add to a watermelon scent um you can add it to if you have like a a zesty citrus scent like um oh how would this go with coconut lime breeze i should try that but yes i absolutely love this this is a nice refreshing scent as well random fun fact all these fragrance mists except for the sol de janeiro ones have been sitting in this box since march because i had everything all sectioned out and they got they got a little dust on them so <laughs> excuse that so um next up here are gonna be some bath and body works fragrance mist so the first one here is bahamas passion fruit and banana flower i feel like this one everyone knows about because it's out right it's out now right yeah, this is a very strong um scent that's probably why i wouldn't grab a backup this one i would have to finish and then think about buying it again because it's so strong but i actually really enjoy it just in small increments next here is tiki bay island margarita and this to me smells like a drink i was not able to get my hands on a fragrance mist to this so i haven't really used it but hopefully i start breaking this out because i do have a couple of citrus scents that I could um layer this with and I think I have done that already anyways next here is pink watermelon and this is a nice juicy watermelon scent so if you love a juicy watery watermelon scent it smells like candy but it also smells like watery watermelon so I actually really like this one next here is Bora Bora citrus surf another one that I wasn't able to find a matching lotion to last year but still another good citrus scent and actually i have that cocoa citrus that i picked up from pink so i could probably um wear this with that next i have one of my favorite um tropical scents and this is fiji sunshine guava teeny if you love a good sugary guava scent this right here okay this is it and i think this is the last fragrance mist that i can think of that i could put my hand on and this is hibiscus paradise um this has guava in it and that guava is guava and coconut and hibiscus <laughs> duh it's called hibiscus paradise anyways this scent is chef's kiss in the summer it's oh, well any time of year if you want to wear it but especially in the summer this scent is just everything in all forms speaking of which i have a um a scrub to this i don't know where it's at okay it it just don't me i have a scrub to this and as soon as i find it i'm gonna I'm break that out and now i'm thinking about it i have a scrub to this too i don't think i did a good job of looking for everything so <laughs> okay so now i have some perfumes that give me a tropical vibe um i may have mentioned this one already so i'm gonna mention it first this is escada miami blossom I feel like I may have mentioned this already because I see the pineapple on the front, but I feel like this has notes of pineapple, watermelon, and some other fruits. Definitely a tropical um, situation. I feel like the more you spray, the more it smells like air freshener. So that could just be me, but just a little FYI. I also have a perfume to Hibiscus Paradise. The dent, okay? There's a dent. There's a little bit of a dent in there. When I wear this, it has me in a chokehold. And right now, for my summer project, Use It Up Mango Mai Tai is on that list. And I have been pairing this with it. Okay, it's everything. So just to move on to the one I layer with, and that is new by Rihanna. I don't know if y'all could tell. Yeah, it's down here. Okay, this has definitely been getting used. I had to give it a break 
that's why I've been wearing um, the Sol de Janeiro scent for the last few days because I've been wearing um, this combination out. Speaking of that, I will bring it up. I have a perfume to Sol de Janeiro. Um, this one's actually getting a nice dent in it as well because I've been using the set to it. Um, it's it can be a tropical vibe that's why like again i said i'm putting it in this video this scent to me i don't know if it's tropical but um a lot of us use it when we're doing our watermelon combos and that is the dolce and gabbana number three um i ain't gonna i ain't even gonna do it to myself but this one okay this we use with a lot of watermelon scents it doesn't give me it's like sour tart maybe sour sour sounds bad but it's like tart and fruity so it's not exactly tropical but it's like the main one that a lot of us use for watermelon um combos um the next one here is punch all fruits this is from gourmand beauty i found this at urban outfitters so i don't know when this will arrive in the discount stores but if you are interested in paying the 18 dollars um, check out Urban Outfitters or you can buy it off of the Gourmand Beauty website directly. Next, this is a citrus tropical that I adore. This is Sugar Lychee from Fresh. This I love. If you love grapefruit, you will enjoy this. This um, goes perfectly with grapefruit rosé, which I feel like I said that so many times last year, but... I'm about to start breaking grapefruit froze back out and this is um the one to go with it next this is called globe trotter and i think the brand name is fika this i found at marshall's for 12.99 and to me this smells almost exactly like bahamas passion fruit and banana flower so the notes in here coconut water apricot nectar pineapple leaves the mid is apple blossoms, lotus flower, vanilla orchid, and the base is sun-drenched driftwood and sheer musk. And this also has that pineapple leaves note. So I think that's why these two smell very similar, especially in the opening. So if you just so happen to be in Marshalls, maybe even TJ Maxx, um, I feel like if you keep your eye open for this one here, give it a smell. And if you like Bahamas, Bahamas passion fruit and banana why are the name so long okay if you like this scent then there's a good chance that you would enjoy this one especially if you're looking for a perfume to layer with this Woo! okay the last one this is also new to my collection and this is hibiscus from Zara this will probably this might go in the tropical video but I think it has like a mango note it might even be a passion fruit note in there this is fruity um it goes really nicely with um i was wearing this with mango mai tai as well because i was also using dolce shine from dolce and gabbana that's like my go-to one for mango mai tai but since this also has a mango note i can either use them together as a layer like layering combo or i can like use them interchangeably so you know do with that what you will but that is hibiscus from zara so of course it's only right that i forgot something again and this is um victoria's secret bombshell sun drenched this is a newer fragrance that i don't even think i've worn yet i know there's a guava note in here and it's smelling super juicy this smells super fruity and juicy and um i need to pull this out when i'm wearing mango mai tai um and hibiscus paradise to see how this goes and even fresh coconut colada because i think that might not have a guava note but this will probably go with it so i don't know how i forgot about this but uh definitely need to start pulling this out as well okay i almost ended this video without talking about some more important items and i just I couldn't leave these out and these are my philosophy body washes like hi I can't believe I almost forgot about these so the first one here is passion fruit daiquiri um I will say that for the most part the philosophy washes tend to smell more like soap they tend to be more soapy and it's probably because they're supposed to be a three-in-one like to use like in your hair and your body and 
bubble bath so it's probably why it smells more like soapy but you can get light whiffs of some of them some of them have a, a stronger scent profile but this one smells more like soap but it's still it's still cool um the next one here is cabana girl and that's a guava coconut this is one that i have been using with my mango mai tai routine because when i add like the hibiscus um paradise perfume this one has a little more of a stronger scent throw in the shower so i actually really enjoy cabana girl and the last one i think this one might be one of my top three top two my favorite <laughs> this is oh let me bring it closer this is beach girl and this is a juicy orange one and it smells like an orange drink it smells so good and i may have mentioned this before but in the event i didn't or you want to hear it again this layered with pinks cocoa pineapple body wash really if you want to add a pineapple body wash in general like if you have another um well scented pineapple wash from whatever brand it goes it will go so well with this I feel like even if you want to do mango with this, you that would probably smell really good as well. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder how these two would smell together. Um, they might smell really good together. So, but this is a nice juicy orange one and I just... Mm. So that is my catch-all for my tropical series. Um, I'm going to do a salty scent series and that should be it for this series unless someone has like another um, idea to add to this because I don't have a ton of tropical peach scents so that's why this was the catch-all so um, yeah that's it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video